Hi guys, it's Goddess Ariana, and I want to try something new. Now, I consider myself to be pretty funny, but not in like that cocky way, but I think I can be pretty funny at times. And I've come up with some things that I'd want to use in a stand-up comedy show, but I don't know when that will be, so why not just share in like little mini bits? So, I want to see if I can continue on this little kind of mini-series, I guess one could say, where I just share some things I have on my mind that I think would be pretty funny to share. So, here we go. Let's see if it works. So, there's a few people in this world that I'll never understand. One of the main types of people in this world that I'll never understand are the superstitious people. We all know who they are. They do these weird things to cancel out hexes, these weird rituals. They don't make freaking sense. There's a whole list of the things that you can be superstitious about. Stepping on cracks, black hats stepping in your path, breaking mirrors, all that stuff. Now, let me just say for one thing, I tried stepping on a crack before and trying to break my mom's back, but that was just because I was mad at her, and I was eight, and nothing happened. But I think one of the main things people believe is when you spill salt, you have to throw it over your shoulder, or else you'll get seven years bad luck, or some sort of X amount of years, I don't know. Now, let's just break this down a little bit. First of all, why? Why does salt apparently give you bad luck if you spill it? The only thing salt can really do is just dehydrate you or give you other some sort of bill of bad health. But that's only in certain doses. Spilling it on the table is not going to do anything to you. And someone explained to me, like, how? How does that give you bad luck? How does spilling salt say to the deities or whatever, saying, oh, they spilled salt. Really, what makes them that ticked off just by spilling salt? It's not like we're running out of it. So now let's just try and break this down. So let's just say it was true. Let's just say it was true that if you spill salt, it gives you bad luck. Now, does it depend on which shoulder you throw it over? I don't understand. But also, is there a certain time period that you have to do this within? Like, say that I spill salt right now, eating my dinner, and I don't come back to it for maybe about one hour. Can I still throw it over my shoulder and then I won't get hexed? Or does it have to be within the same minutes of it being spilled? Like, really, detail. Help me out here. Help me understand because you guys aren't making sense to me. So, why does throwing it over your shoulder, like, dehex you? Or whatever the word is. And why does it have to be throwing it over the shoulder? Why not flicking it to the next table? But why does it have to be over your shoulder? But also mainly, like, why do people believe that it's going to help? Like, throwing it over your shoulder is not going to solve your problem. It's just over there now. But is this supposed to be a tactic to make it someone else's problem? Like, if it hits someone else, do they get the seven years bad luck that you would have gotten if you didn't throw it over your shoulder? But I tried doing the whole salt thing before, and it didn't really exactly help me out. I spilled salt in a restaurant before with one of my superstitious friends and they were looking at me all about and told me to throw it over my shoulder so I just humored them and, and it hit the back of somebody and he got mad. So yeah, it didn't exactly help. He just got assaulted. So in short guys, throwing salt over your shoulder does not lift your curse, dehex you or whatever the hex you believe in. Alright guys, I'm Goss Ariana and that was my comedic bitty bit. Peace. Love, equality, and rock and roll. Bye!